Hello guys, this video will show you a really cool simple retopology technique. So for example, let's say you have a piece like this and you got this hole and you want to fill this hole. Now of course there are different ways to do that, but what I would do is I would just go into the border level, just select this and press Alt P, the font hotkey to cap that. Then I would select that and detach it. And now we simply select this other piece. I can go ahead and maybe move it a bit. And now we simply need to apologize this. Choose a good number because 5,000 is probably way too high and gives this kind of angularity. Let's try 255. Let's try 125. All right. You could even go lower. Let's try 55. All right. So now we've got this nice fill in the blank situation. We can move it back to the original. And then we can go ahead and apply shell change the outer mount. As you can see guys, we have now nicely filled in the gap. Now of course you can still do some modifications to have it fit better. So for example, I'm using data channel just to kind of automatically sharpen things up. Let me go ahead and give this a lighter material. So now what I can do to have it match up is I can go ahead and apply the same data channel up in subdiv right here. And so if it doesn't match up perfectly here, I'm going to turn off open sub div and I'm just going to go ahead and you know select this change the pivot to be right here and I can just use snaps here I just need to right click I'm using face snaps let's use vertex snaps and I can just kind of snap that right here just to have that line up a little bit better if that's what you need. All right, and you can go, of course, for a little bit of time, but once you apply open subdiv on both objects, you're going to see they match up pretty well. So that is a very cool, simple retopology trick, guys. Thank you for watching and take care.